Welcome to the Geese Word channel. My name is Mohammed, and today I'm gonna tell you how we can use OSGO4W to install QGIS. So let's get started. As all of you know, for installing the QGIS, we can easily use the simple MSI file. You can directly go to the QGIS website, download it, and with multiple next buttons, you can install everything. The second part will be the using OSGO4W that I wanna to tell you in a detail this step. Let me tell you a bit about advantage and disadvantages of using MSI installations. Um, one of the advantages uh, will be it is a safe installations. I mean that if you doesn't have enough information about different library of the QUGIS or if you are a beginner, it will be very easy for you to uh, with a multiple next clicks, bottom clicks, so you can install the QGIS. And also, it has an easy installation in this part. Uh, if you want to install it on, if you are in a company and you want to install it on more than one PC, and if you doesn't have a GIS background, so it is very easy for you just to download it and install it on different machines and different servers. And uh, the first thing that will be the disadvantages of this type of installations, the keeping update of QGIS. So, uh, for example, now you are using the QGIS 16, a new version comes to so how you wanna, uh, again, you should download the MS file, MSI file of the newest versions, again, update it and download it and it's really, really difficult. And just think about you want to uninstall the previous versions. Again, you should go to the settings app and uninstall the version. So it will be very, very time consuming. And another thing, they're installing the extra packages. Extra packages, if you does, if you are not a GIS developer or if you are a beginner, it will be difficult to install the extra libraries uh, on your QGIS. Okay, now I want to tell you how we can uh, use OSGO4 packages to install, to update, and uninstall the QGIS. It is very, very useful, and just keep continue this video, and I will show you all these three different functionality of uh, OSGO4W package. Okay. When you open OSU4W package, you will see two types of installation, express installation and advanced installations. In the express installations, we have four items or we have four choices. So QGIS, QGIS, LTR, GDL, and GGRASS. QGIS. QGIS is the latest version of QGIS which has all the libraries has already been published. So I really recommend if you are a researcher, if you are a student, and if you are a person who want to know what are the latest libraries of the QGIS, please download and use this type. But if you are a person who are working in a company or you want to install the QGIS in a company and in the production part, so I really recommend to use QGIS LTR because if we have some bugs in the QGIS in the first step, uh, in the first part, we, do, we, have, we doesn't have these problems in the LTR version. And uh, so if you choose any of the two items, please install the GDL and GRASS GIS also. So, for installing the uh, QGIS by using OSGO4W package, Google QGIS, the first link, click on the uh, download link, uh, the green button is MSI file, it's very, very easy, I don't like to show it here, because all of you, I'm sure that all of you has already know how to install it, so if you wanted to download the OSGO4W package, just click on it, then the installer, just save it somewhere on your PC, so it takes a very it's 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 not very it's light file so 
just if you wanted to install on the all the users don't forget to run it as administrator so but i want to use it uh, install it just for myself for my user you see that here is the express and advanced installation i use the express next it, these are the four items that I have already uh, talked about it. So I use the QGIS, LTR, GDL, and GRASSGIS. So uh, just, just click on the next, then uh, you will see all the licenses, accept all of them. And then after accepting all these processes, you can easily connect that and then the software start to download all different types of packages. Uh, in the advanced installations, I will show you how many libraries and how many softwares that this uh, OSGO4W package will install for you. Because it takes a bit more time, I will pause the video and I will uh, talk about it after finishing and downloading all these parts. So it has already done. So the installation and downloading and installation it has already done. Okay, just to go to the search bar or uh, write QGIS. Yes, done. QGIS 3.22.16 has already been installed for me. Just we should a bit wait because it is the first time and it takes a bit more time. So now you have your QGIS, you can use it and you can develop what you want to do in the GIS field. So until now, if you like our videos, so don't forget to like it and to subscribe our channel. So where you go, here is the our QGIS. Just go to the help about perfect 3.22.16 has already been installed. Now it's time to talk about advanced installations. When you open this part, you will come across with five sections, utilities, desktop libraries, libs, and web. So uh, for the first time, just change the default values of the utilities and the desktop to install. And please don't forget to change all the status of the QGIS desktop and nightly packages to skip because I want to install the QGIS LTR version so I don't need the simple QGIS desktop or the latest version of QGIS desktop. And also we have some nightly packages and this is something very new, newer than the QGIS desktop, not LTR one. Uh, so please uh, not install all of them on your PC because it makes your PC a lot of softwares and uh, definitely it will re reduce the performance of your computer. After opening the QGIS again, uh, I will select the advanced installed, then install from the internet, the same thing. And I told you again, I am installing it just on my own user, not as an administrator. Don't forget to click both of the OSGO and the Norbit. In the future, I will tell you what is the Norbit and what we can do with this great uh, software. So, uh, first of all, just change the utility default to the install and uh, all the nightly packages to the uh, skip. The and then in the uh, desktop part, again, change it to the install and then all the nightly packages again to the skip and also the QGIS desktop to the skip because I just want to install the QGIS LTR and I don't want to have more than one QGIS on my PC. So again, we have more nightly packages, just skip them and just keep continue. Good. And uh, so we have already done. And these are the libraries. We don't need it right now. In the future, I will tell you what we can do with uh, three other parts. Just check them again. Uh, so we don't have any nightly packages, just multiple clicks. So again, it will take a bit more time. Again, it should download everything uh, from the internet, from the two websites that I show you. Uh, I will see you after uh, these complete, uh, completing the downloading and installation. So it's done. 
uh, but it will take i think at least 20 to 30 minutes according to the speed of your internet and many things just in your uh, search just search qgis great again we have the same thing because it is the first time it is installed so it will take a bit of time to open the qgis now you have the qgis installed with the advanced installations of osgo 4 w package and uh, okay just we should a bit more wait good So it is done. So the QGIS is open. Again, we have the same error because uh, now it is the error for my plugin because I delete everything so it couldn't find my plugin right now, energy plugin. Great, we have the 3.22.16 of QGIS. Great, uh, I will see you uh, again and we can discuss in the next part about updating and uh, uh, uninstalling the QGIS. Until now, we have already talked about how we can install the QGIS using the Express and Advanced installations using OSGO4W package. Now it's a time to how we can update. For example, now uh, in this video, I have a 3.22.12 version of a QGIS. Uh, now if we have uh, some small changes in the QGIS, we have some updates and it changes to 3.22.16. So uh, how can I update this uh, via OSGO4W package? The same thing of installations. Again, we have utilities, desktop, libraries, libs, and web. Just keep everything as a default because um, OSGO4W package automatically detects which libraries has already been updated or not. So default it will be a safe part. And again, don't forget to change the status of the QJS desktop and nightly packages to skip. So first of all, I want to show you what is the version of my QGIS help about. So it is 3.22.12. Uh, so let me just close it and I want to again open OSGO4W setup and i use the advanced installation again i want to install it on my own user not uh, for all the users so you can see not all the users if you wanted to install for all the users you should right click on the the setup file and run it as an administrator and this is the local page so you, you can change it from the maybe for you it is a local part but i want to store it in the c drive it's better I think uh, and then it is no problem which one you choose is a download but OSG definitely is the best one so you can see all of them uh, is a default so uh, just check them you can see in a desktop you will see uh, now from 16 now the the current version is 12 now I wanted to install the 16 just next and accept all of them it will a bit again takes time uh, for the installation again we have some uh, licenses we should accept it so i will pause the video and i will see uh, i will see you after this downloading and installation so it's done uh, so it has already downloaded the latest versions and update it and download it go to your search right qgis so very good 3.22.16 has already been downloaded and installed it's great again i will click on it so we have the qgis uh, uh, version 3.22.16 uh, just again after the opening this uh, software so uh, I should go to the help and about and I can see whether it has already changed uh, from 12 to 16. Good, it, it is opened. So uh, I will go to the help about and you can see great 3.22.16 has already been 
installed. The last part of this series of videos is uninstalling the QGIS via OSGO4W. So we have utilities, desktop libraries, libs, and the web. Same. But because I want to uninstall completely QGIS on my PC, so uh, I should change the default to the uninstall. So again, uh, we should go to the help about and you can see I have already installed 3.22.16 So I just close it open OSGO4 setup file Then again the same thing of the installations and uh, updating for advanced installation and the same process and if the QGIS is installed uh, on the so as administrator, don't forget to right click and run the setup file as an administrator. Just change the default. You can see now I have 22.16 OSGO4W automatically detected. So change the default to uninstall, uninstall everything. The same thing just next. It takes uh, a very short time, so uh, it will uninstall all the packages. So I pause the video. Good, everything has already been uninstalled. So just uh, close it and just type. When I type the QGIS, there we go, I have already uninstalled the QGIS uh, on my PC. We have already learned how we can use OSGO4W packages to install the QGIS, maybe a different version of QGIS, on one machine, and how we can update the older version of QGIS but don't forget, uh, if you have these older versions also have to be installed by OSGO4W. So in this case, if you install one version of QGIS with the OSGO4W packages, you can easily update it. And also, you can uninstall the QGIS package uh, using OSGO4W. So how you can uninstall it, for example, uh, I have the versions, as you see, uh, 3.22.12 and 0.16. I wanted to uninstall the 12 or I wanted to uninstall both of them. So I can easily use this package and uninstall all the versions of maybe QGIS or just one version. And at the end, thank you so much for all your attentions. If you have any questions or opinion, uh, please uh, write it in the comment section below. So the World Guess uh, channel group can uh, help you and answer it as soon as possible. See you again in the next video. And if you like this video, don't forget to introduce us to other your friends. Like the video and subscribe our channel.